Hi everyone. Hi everybody. Today we are swatching these beautiful colors. So this is not a new collection. This is in fact an old collection, but it's a spring collection. Well, a spring these, collection. these three are kind of winter, but it's still a little winter. Who's counting? Yeah, um, <laughs> it's still a little winter. So um, this was part of the last year's winter some collection. And this was the Japanese Tokyo collection part of it because I don't have the whole thing. So, um, and it is a new formula, which they actually started producing, I think two years ago. So the old bottles were not just old bottles, but I think the formula has changed, which I don't have confirmed from OPI because I asked them, but they didn't respond to me. So I don't know, but I have a feeling people that do use OPI, they're telling me that the formula has improved. So I don't know if it has anything to do with the new bottles. So they've not only just rebranded, not rebranded, but... Yeah, redid the bottles. They also... Redid, like, did package... Re um, yeah. Ha -la, la 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 If you can just read the colors. Yeah. Yeah. So you read the colors, I put on the gloves. I keep wanting to say relabeling, and that is completely yeah. not what I'm trying to say. So I have Temperature is rising. Tempera... Tempera... Temperature, temperature is oh, rising. And the names are on the front. Oh. So this is actually very good. I like it. That is a good thing. Yeah. Okay, so temperature is uh, is rising. Rising. Uh huh. You have Arigato from Tokyo. Hurry, Juku, get this color. <laughs> uh huh. Another romantic evening. Evening. Wow. Like ramen. Oh, ramen noodles? Yeah, Tick. like ramen noodles. Yeah. Romantic. Oh, Romantic. Very, very clever. Wow, okay. Top the package with a bow. Okay, so that one was from the winter collection. I uh -huh. gathered as much. Yeah. I need to yeah. read the bottom. Uh, ornament to be together. Ornament. Meant to be together. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, moving forward, we have coal mates. Ah. Not soul mates, but coal mates. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. And then we have all your dreams in vending machines. Actually, that is one of the slickest ones I've ever heard. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, all your dreams in vending machines. I like that. Good job, OPI. I like that name. And then we have Tiramisu for two. Wait a second. We've oh, already that's an done old this one. one. We've done Tiramisu for two. Oh, okay. Yes, so we we're going to do it again because we have. Uh, <laughs> this is a I new. Do... No, this is the new formula. Oh, this is the new formula. Yes. Okay, because we've done Tiramisu for two. And. Yeah. Well, you know what? This is their, their second chance to wow me. Yeah. Okay. And finally, we have Put It in Neutral. Okay. And there we go. All right. So. We're gonna use their regular base coat because I have a feeling that they, um, the other base coat is mm -hmm. kind of discontinued. Okay. So, let's do it. It's kind of getting warm in here. I think it's just you. <laughs> getting hot flashes. I was just going to say, however, I figured I'd bite my tongue. <laughs> Are we even here? Even Steven. Yeah. Okay, let's just move it a little bit. All right. So, um, okay, so maybe we will skip the uh, base coat application. Or not. Well, maybe not, because uh, I just remembered that I had a few wonderful viewers that mentioned um, that, in fact, using two layers of the base coat apparently uh, removes better. How does that work? I have no idea. This is my new tool that I really like. Okay, I think we're gonna skip this Age because of wood. yeah, but the angle is really good. Oh well, that's right. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna fast forward. All 
All right, so we'll start with the another Raymond Tech Evening. And the OPI has to be shaken. Not stirred. <laughs> For a minute. In our case, I was using them as drumsticks on my legs. Can you just kind of flash cure it quickly? Apparently, though, the flashing, flashing, the flash curing is not a good idea with the pastel colors. One of the viewers on a previous video was mentioning that when you flash cure the pastel colors, mm -hmm. they kind of cure like a cement. So we don't want that. Oh, well, that's not good. Now, which one is this one? Oh, sorry, I forgot. Let's just see. So hold on, uh, Arigato from Tokyo. So you were not supposed to flash cure it. Oh, why is that a pastel color? Yeah, there's something here. Well, I thought this was a pastel color too. Oh, okay. Well, so then... There is some kind of a dot in here. Anyway. Anyways, moving forward. Yeah, anyway, moving forward. What's the next one? Oh, someone's paying attention. Uh, all your dreams in vending machines. Oh, that's my favorite name. This one has a shimmer. Oh boy. This reminds me of... My God, there was this fancy, fancy, really fancy, famous, schmancy. no, no, no fan, famous color by OPI. Famous, that was, fancy, schmancy. Uh-huh. Pompeii purple. Oh my God. Okay, flash cure. By flash curing that, are, am I not flash curing the other ones as well? Yes. So we're flash curing the ones that we're we said blatantly that we were suggested not to flash here yeah. in the first place. Mm -hmm. I failed. Anyway, so now this oh one boy. is a uh, hurry Juku get this color. <laughs> you just don't seem too impressed. That's oh, by the way, I used this color on one of my clients uh, on her pedicure, the regular, uh, well, the OPI, what's it called? I, I can't think, and um, my god, what's the name? The long lasting nail polish, and it's fantastic. The formula, by the way, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right, this is good actually. Okay, go, go in. Oh, it's snowing. Uh oh, what? Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. How about that? So now we're gonna use this really cool orange. Temperature is rising. You know, I suddenly have a hankering for tempura. Mm hmm You know, I have to say that the formula is uh, good on these. The first light pink was a little iffy, but we'll see how it cures. Okay, just flash gear. Actually, no, full gear now. Should okay. we go with these ones or just finish the other ones? What? Should we go into this hand? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's, okay. let's let you know for okay. the, the sake of time and all right. And everything so let's else. let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Ornament to be together, and this one actually has a very good coverage from what I remember. Mm -hmm. And now look at the brushes on, so the brushes on the big bottles are small and these are like the small bottles. Mm -hmm. These are the small bottles and they have bigger brushes. They look like testers. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Well, well I mean, you compare them to the other, like the, the regular size. Yeah. Uh, so bottles, apparently now they, they have like two testers. sizes. So they have the big ones. I like the small ones because you know, they're cheaper. And sometimes, I don't know. You don't, you don't need, like you only... For smaller operations, I mean, it would be a great way to start out, I guess. Yeah. I mean, and you know, you don't have so much of a, an initial investment when you're getting smaller bottles like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not too keen on the application of that one. Really? No, it's actually not bad. Okay, so that's... Oh, you know what? I just, yeah, from the from angle the that I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. So that is the uh, top of the package with a bow. Okay. And on to the next. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Oh, the name. Yeah. Uh, Comates. 
Coal maids. Coal maids. I like these brushes better than the other ones. Mm. They're kind of like soft. And soft a little bit bigger. Of... The brush has a like a good oh. It's nice. Look. Well, can I see? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna use... They feel very Christmassy. Yeah. Okay, can we see? And this is the tiramisu for two. We're just, you know, 350 some odd days, you know, away from, away from Christmas. Christmas. But I'm like, you can say that I'm ahead of the game with my old colors. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, never mind. All right. Okay, so let's flash cure this one. And now the put it in neutral. This one is good as a French color. By the color. way, that uh, will give you a heat spike. Which one? All of them? Oh yeah. Oh. So this is kind of like a pinkish beige. And it's, it's sheer. So these colors usually kind of worry me a little bit, or I'm scared of these colors because all these light colors tend to yellow yeah. or fade and they just become like smoker's nails, but. Okay, so let's cure these ones. Oh, and we can uh, go on to this. So, you know, okay, so there was, when the surface of the nail is not perfectly even and you are applying such a thin layer of base coat, what happens is that sometimes there is unevenness, or even in the application of the base coat. Mm -hmm. So then the color goes on kind of funky. I'm not sure how I like the uh, the OPI base coat, to be honest with you. And we left the nails longer just so I can wrap the free edges. Mm -hmm. That will not be lasting long. Yeah, no. This feels a little watery, this color. Doesn't feel very pigmented. Mm. Not horribly bad, but so what I'm trying to do with this application is I'm trying to wrap the free edges the way the company tells you to. So they tell you to apply it over the whole thing and then touch up the free edge. Mm -hmm. But I find what happens is the, the free edge, instead of staying where you just put it, it starts to round off again and it's exposing the free edge. I honestly, it drives me nuts. You know what's driving this, me nuts? Uh-huh. I have to scratch my face and both oh, my hands are kind of... Yeah. Oh. Okay, so yeah, I would rather f uh, flash cure the color and then... Okay, so I'm going to show you. So can you please put your hand down? I was scratching. Oh. But you know, we're trying to do a video here. I had to scratch. Okay, so now that the color is dry, you see how I can actually just put, actually, actually. This flash cure it, well, full cure it in normal circumstances. Because normally I would flash cure, I would apply it over the whole nail, flash cure it, put it on the very free edge, fully cure, and then put a second coat. Okay, yep, put it. So now you see this stage, and this is rounded off. I don't like it. It looks a little bulbous. The other one, right? The pinky. I can't see from this angle, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it does. I will take your word for it. So all these products are meant to be applied over healthy, natural nails. Healthy, way. natural nails. Yeah, because, you know, people kind of think sometimes that you can use these products over damaged nails or very flexible thin nails and that's not really the case these products are kind of meant to be just like a nail polish but mm -hmm. last a little bit longer but only if you treat your nails as if they have or they have they had nail polish on they're so fluffy in there yes mm -hmm. It's just not a proper video without a fluffy. I know. Every video. Mm -hmm. Flush care. This is a nice color. 
So I think it's my favorite. Curry, Juku, get this color. Yeah, I like it. Okay. The most. It's kind of a wintry. Can I see it again? It's really nice. It's like a mm -hmm. wintry pink. Yeah. All right, on to. Okay, put your hand. No, like this. See, this is why I like. Yeah, exactly. Because the other way. Would you be able to put this underneath your arm? No, this underneath your elbow. Yes, thank you. So you're a little bit higher. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, if the client's nails are not uh, perfectly healthy or if they're very flexible or a little damaged, you want to put a bit of a gel overlay first. And then you can do the gel polish because otherwise it's just not going to hold. And for the gel overlay, I would suggest this like a very flexible soak off gel. So they, I find I have the best results with them, like the Kucha one. Let's see how this works. I messed up a little bit here. Okay, go some light. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do the other hand. I forgot to rock the free edge a little bit on the thumb. It's, it's, right. it's a short nail. It's okay. But let's just kind of uh, see how much better this would be. We are. If you flash cured this, it's much better wrapped. But anyway. Yeah, this has an amazing coverage. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what if we wrap the free edge first with an empty brush? Let's see. And then. So this one is like a black that has like a gold shimmer. Don't move, please. You're being like the worst client ever today. My face is itchy. Maybe you should have washed it. I washed my face just fine, thank you very much. When, two days ago? Four, <laughs> but who's counting? Okay, this is a really nice color as well. They're less, I would say, they're a little bit less pigmented than shellac. Mm. They just feel different. Okay. But they're not bad. I think the new formula is better. If there is a new formula. Can you guys, like, um, confirm either way? If you think that the formula is a new formula? Mm-hmm. And the last one. Mm -hmm. So it's not really looking yellowish, I have to mm -hmm. say. So make sure to leave a comment below on just what you guys think of these colors. Yeah. Maybe, you know, hit that like button. And if you would like to see watch me work videos, if you want to see how I work with my clients, then you can check, check us out on Patreon. Mm-hmm. Well, me, basically. He's not there. Sometimes. He's not. Are you? No. I think so. No, because it's me working with clients mostly. Yeah, but I thought there was some stuff with me in it. Could be. Could Maybe. be. So. We'll you see. know what, guys? Why don't you go find yeah. out? Let us let's, know. Let's find out. Okay. So you see, if I put it here, the way I kind of, without flash camera, it kind of it shrinks a little bit still. Okay. Go to night, please. Okay. So this is it, no? This is it. We're not gonna, are we gonna do top coat? No. No, we're not gonna do top No, coat. this is all about the swatch. He's like so sick of it and wants to go home. All right, so yeah, as you can see, this one kind of rounded off a little bit more than, which one did I do? I think it was this, it was one. this one. 
yeah yeah there was no this one also looks good i don't know mm -hmm. this one actually looks very good too so yeah so some of them kind of shrink a little bit when they're not flash cured the way i kind of showed you guys you know looking mm. at that it's like the initial looks not bad but i could see how over time it would uh it's gonna go yellow yeah i think yeah, yeah. i think so Alrighty, guys so this is it what are you doing with your new nails <laughs> sorry my hands are cheap <laughs> okay anywhere anywhere any, any, anywhere <laughs> Wow. Anyway, anyways, anyways, um, yeah, this is it, and this is it for my OPI stash <laughs> collection. I actually might be buying more. We'll see how I'm gonna start using these ones on clients and see how they last and how mm -hmm. I like them because I might actually revisit my idea of uh, purchasing some OPI colors. Oh boy, yeah, dangerous, dangerous. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye, bye.